Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the clear water cowl, which you can see here in the photo in front of you as well as I have my sample here. This is a very simple, beautiful, lightweight cowl. Uh, it's made using some cross double crocheted stitches as well as some half double crochet stitches. It's light in weight. It's great uh, to wear as an accessory indoors and outdoors. It just has a great feel to it. This cowl, uh, the free pattern, the written pattern, can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link is there for you in the description of this video. For this pattern, you're going to need about 380 yards of a fingering weight or a yarn with that number one on the label there, uh, fingering weight yarn. Today I'm going to be using this hand dyed yarn by Wool Interrupted and uh, it's a 30% bamboo and superwash merino blend. So it's about 70% uh, wool and then 30% bamboo. So it has a really, really nice feel. Uh, the color that I used in my cowl was called the Blue Hue. This one that you see here in front of you, it's called Moody. Uh, absolutely gorgeous yarns. And you can find uh, more of their yarn as well as their yarn boxes on, uh, on, on the web if you look up Wool Interrupted. So that's the yarn I'm going to use for this cowl. You can substitute the yarn for any fingering weight yarn or just look for that number one on the label. I'm also going to be using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and I'll throw the direct links for these items in the description of this video. I've already mentioned that you can find the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here don't forget to take a look around and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you see. Thank you so much. Let's grab our hooks and our yarn and let's learn how to crochet the clear water cowl. Now our pattern today is worked in rounds. You're going to start by making your slip knot and then with your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook you're going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be 150 chains. Now that's going to make uh, your cowl about 17 inches across when it is laid flat. If you would like to change the size of your cowl, so if you're using a thicker yarn or if you just like it to be uh, shorter or longer, you can adjust the foundation chain by multiples of two. Today I'm going to crochet a total of 150 chains. You're then going to, without twisting your chain, join with a slip stitch in that first chain to form a loop. So go ahead and chain 150 and meet me back here. So once you have your 150 chains or your desired even number of chains worked, you're then going to join with a slip stitch into that first chain to form a ring. You're then ready to begin ra uh, round one. And for round one, you're going to start by chaining one and then work one half double crochet into each chain all the way around. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So work one half double crochet into each chain all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round one you join with a slip stitch 
into that first stitch and do not turn your work. We're now going to start our first round of crossed double crochet stitches. So you're going to begin by chaining three. Your chain three does count as a double crochet stitch. Now to work your starting cross double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over and then working into the stitch prior to the one that you joined in. So back into this stitch here, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over your working around the post of that chain three, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And that's your first crossed double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next unworked stitch. So this is your stitch where you joined in, that's the chain three. Skip the next one, into the next stitch, work a double crochet stitch. You're now going to cross that double crochet stitch by yarning over, working back into the stitch that you skipped, so that unworked stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two more. That's another crossed double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So skip the next stitch into the next, work a double crochet, then working around the post and back into the stitch that you just skipped, work, work another double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. At the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three. We're then going to, to start round three and uh, the next rounds after this, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. We want our crossed stitches to be right over top of one another, so simply slip stitch into the next stitch, chain three, which is your double crochet, and then begin the rest of round three by yarning over and working your crossed double crochet stitch into that same stitch as joining. And then continue on in the pattern, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, and double crochet back into that skipped stitch. So this is going to make your crossed double crochet stitches one uh, right over top of the other. So you're going to continue to repeat that, skip the next stitch, work in the next, double crochet, then double crochet into that skipped stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of that chain three, and then repeat. So you're going to work this last round uh, until round 22. And then at round 22, you can meet me back here and uh, we will uh, work another final round and finish off. Once you reach the end of round 22, you should have a piece that measures about uh, 9 inches thick, okay, from start uh, to end. So you're now going to work one final round. So you're going to chain one and then work one half double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. So work one half double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Fasten off your work, weave in your ends, and your clear water cowl is complete. So thank you so much for joining me today. 
And uh, once you're finished your cowl, feel free to tag me across social media, Rich Textures Crochet. And uh, I would love to see your finished work. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Check back weekly as this channel uh, is updated weekly with free stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. And until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.